do today. Today, we're gonna take these fun postcards and transform them into your own unique fall card. Let's get started. So this is the decoupage paper I'm gonna use to cover my little cards. Um, this is one of the recycled papers. I mean, this is beautiful as is, but the, the way that the colors just graduate and go back and forth in here, I think these are gorgeous for background. So I use this paper and I cut them into four by six rectangles. I'm gonna decoupage a piece of this onto a heavier cardstock and what I'm using is a postcard paper and I just decoupage this on to the front of it. So I'm gonna decoupage this on to the front of this card. And you could use any type of card stock you would like or any greeting card, anything you would like to use. I just thought this would be fun because the back of it, I really liked the way the postcard was on there. Now I didn't cut this quite as large as the card, so I'll trim this card down a tad bit. I'm gonna let this dry, and we're gonna move on to our pumpkin. So I'm using some watercolor paper, and I am going to draw a pumpkin. I am gonna watercolor it, and then we're gonna end up cutting it out and putting it on here. And you could take any image you can find of pumpkins or fall things, and I think those colors look great on this dark blue. If you would like to learn to draw and do this watercolor, we'll have a link below to Lexi's class where I learned this. But no two are ever gonna come out the same, so you can use anything you would like. You could even stamp a pumpkin and paint it in. So this is dry. I'm just gonna do a light antiquing, just a very light, because I don't wanna change a whole lot of the color on this. So I did a little antiquing, there's a little on here. I'm gonna cut this out. So if you had just printed a picture or had a cool picture, a fall picture, oh, you could skip all this part and just cut your picture out. And this is one of the reasons I wasn't worried if I went outside the lines, because I knew I was cutting it out. I'm gonna adhere this down. I'm gonna use a heavy duty double stick tape to put this on here. So this has got double stick tape on the back and I am just going to set this on my card, press this down, and then I'm gonna stamp a cute little sentiment, cut that out and put that on here. So I have this little stamp and it just says gratitude. So I think that's what I'm gonna use. I'm just going to use my straight edge, cut this out. You could transfer a word on, you could actually stamp right onto your card. There are so many options for this. And I'm just gonna antique the edge of this real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Distress Stamp, Vintage Textures, and I'm gonna use the stamp, and I'm gonna do just a little bit of this funky crackle on here. I just like that, it just gives me just a little bit more. And I didn't wanna stamp my Word. So now I'm just going to decoupage this onto my card and we are almost finished. Okay, I'm using my distress, distressing just on the edges, just a little bit, a little more on here. Now let's seal it. So with watercolor, you wanna be really careful when you're sealing. Usually I would use a spray sealer over this not to reactivate it. Um, I'm waiting for my replenishment of spray sealer. So I'm gonna use my polyacrylic min wax crystal clear. What I'm gonna do is start on this side and I don't mind that that's activating there and moving my distressing around. Now when I get to my pumpkin, I'm gonna do it in one big swoop. So I am not running it back and forth. So now I'm just gonna let this dry. Guys, was this easy? You can take a piece of cardstock, old postcards you're not using anymore, greeting cards, anything you can think of. You notice when we did this, whether you paint or use a fun decoupage paper, wasn't that Roycycle decoupage paper gorgeous? You can see I've just used a section on each one of these and each one looks a little bit different. So you can take one of your favorites and do the same type of thing. Hope you give us a try, but whatever you do, have fun.